everyone and welcome back to a special video. In today's video, we have been invited to Awaji Island. It's just a little island off the coast of Japan where apparently, just between you and me, there's been a few disturbances of the kaiju variety. So we have been sent here to investigate this phenomenon. It could be a certain very special, most famous kaiju we're gonna see. So uh, why don't you join me on this amazing adventure? Let's go! This may be the last, it's like found footage. Like what was a Cloverfield, oh, bye! So not only do you have the zip line here, but you've also got a National Awaji Island Institute of Godzilla Disaster. It's very interesting. <laughs> so this is the start of our adventure. We're gonna be taken through a briefing of what we're gonna do, and then we're gonna go zip lining and then shooting something. Maybe Godzilla, I don't know, let's go. First up, we were shown a movie filling us in on the current situation. Unfortunately, I couldn't film any of it, uh, for obvious reasons, but I'll do my best to recreate the scene. Godzilla erupts from the ocean, ready to attack Japan, when the task force sends in jets, distracting Godzilla and luring him to the trap on Awaji Island. The ground beneath explodes, trapping Godzilla. Finally, a nerve agent is dropped into Godzilla's mouth, rendering Godzilla inactive. So apparently Godzilla has been implanted or inactivated, and now we've got to conduct surveillance. So we're putting all our stuff away, and we're gonna sort of fly into his mouth to, you know, conduct surveillance of his tonsils. <laughs> we are ready? Ready to go? Protection? There we go, better protection now, I think. <laughs> Suited up, we were ready for action. Is this still going? All of our training led to this moment. There was no turning back now. Three, Three two, one, one, let's go! The handle moved a little bit there, I was a bit worried. <laughs> Yes! I can certainly see that this is indeed Godzilla! And now the crash left! Wow, it's so good! It's not like too intense. The Godzilla uh, in the distance is a bit more ominous, I would you know, it looks a bit more ominous, so there's a little bit more thrill to it. But you know, it's a nice, it's a fun sort of thing. I think anyone can do it, no matter what age, really. It's not as intense as like a roller coaster. But that's normally that's what happens with these things. Like you'll get something that's branded, but it'll just be a roller coaster, except it has a name. Whereas this, I mean, look at that. Look at that. That is amazing. They made a ginormous Godzilla. <laughs> Only in Japan, of course. But if you do get the chance, I would highly suggest checking it out. It's awesome. You even get a giant claw! The reconnaissance mission a complete success! We moved on to the next phase! We'll do like a first person shoot. Here we go, what does this say? Remove the scattered Godzilla cells! That's, that's what we're supposed to do. Look down the sights and shoot! Let's kill Godzilla's babies. Alright. Here we go. Get the gun! Oh, here we go! <laughs> Gotta do the shooties! What I didn't realize was that I had missed a vital part of the game. Yes, you are supposed to shoot the cells, but they can attack you. So when you hear this noise, oh, you're supposed to duck and take cover, which is why I was very confused. Why do I have terrible points? If only I had looked over to my left. These guys were obviously Godzilla killing professionals. Oh, you have to hide. Oh, you gotta hide, Whitney. Or just put your gun down, I suppose. The cells destroyed. It was on to the final mission. Zip lining into Godzilla's gaping maw. <laughs> Strapped in, I was ready to go one more time. Right. Towards Godzilla. Three, two, one, let's go. Woo! As we hurtle towards the giant Godzilla! I just hope he's had a breath mint! Woo! <laughs> oh, it's a lot for him! Whoa, look how pretty your teeth are! Was the Godzilla okay? My balls hurt. Godzilla okay? Godzilla was, he was friendly. Was he friendly? Yeah. Didn't say anything though. Now walk out a shot. So, jobs are good and checked out his tonsils, A-OK. -okay. Didn't need a brush or anything, so that's good. Tonsil duty is completed. And now that we've done that, uh, I think we better go get a Godzilla meal. Or a Godzilla-sized meal. Yes, Whitney's, yeah, you, whatever. Yeah, let's go. 
But before we go get food, there's the museum to check out. And there it is, the new Godzilla in the franchise, Shin Godzilla. All the different places in which like Godzilla's uh, roamed and destroyed things, all the different fights as well. And it was chock full of a variety of different things. Like this one being of Godzilla taking on Mecha Godzilla. And if you look very closely, the attention to detail was great. Look at this, you got so much detail with all the people. And then you had these standalone pieces from iconic moments in each of the Godzilla movies. <laughs> Some of them looking a bit derpier than others. There was concept art all over the walls, mini dioramas of Godzilla taking on various foes, and two big statues of Gigan. And to my surprise, they even had a miniature of that giant Godzilla that was just outside. It even has his little claw that was sticking out the ground too. So we weren't able to show this, but before we did the zip lining, we got like a mission briefing of how Godzilla got to be stuck on the ground, which was quite nice, as opposed to just being like, it's there. So you had like Godzilla emerge, the, uh, the jet sort of got it over the island and then they blew up the floor and then dropped some sort of nerve agent into its throat, which sort of paralyzed it. And now we're carrying out inspections because it's just inactive at the moment. And even though I couldn't show anything from the movie we watched earlier, there was this amazing diorama from it of Godzilla's first recorded appearance during the Meiji period. This thing looked gorgeous. And contrasting that, right next to it, you had Godzilla's most recent appearance, with tanks and everything shooting him. They also had a spotlight section focusing in on various characters from the Godzilla franchise. And by my surprise, they even included the 1998 Matthew Broderick Godzilla, <laughs> which was the last thing I was expecting to see here. Bless its little unwanted cotton silks. And we even got to take on Godzilla, but we didn't really stand much of a chance. They even had cabinets showcasing every Godzilla appearance, including the first one from back in 1954, looking just as rubber sooty as ever. There was honestly so much to see here, I'll not try to stay here too long. And after the museum, there was the gift shop, of course, where you could find pretty much anything Godzilla related. I even picked up this tissue holder, hands down my best investment of the entire trip. What would a trip be to a Godzilla merchandise store without getting a mystery blind bag. You've got like Mecha Godzilla, Rodan, all of the, the gangs here. Let's see what we get. Who could it be? <gasps> it's Sodan! Squaw! They had some really creatively themed food, but unfortunately, they didn't have the strawberry Shin Godzilla head I was looking forward to eating. They did, however, still have the baby Godzilla hot dog, though. And this guy did not disappoint. Look at his little face. <laughs> <laughs> they gave this one really small pupils, so it looked very shocked at everything. Next up was the Godzilla Footprint Curry, which was quite nice. It had a rich flavor, which was helped with the chili oil they put in it. And then not too long after that, the Mothra plate appeared. They said big? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the Mothra curry was a bit stranger. The wings were really good. They were made out of the same stuff that you'd make an onion bhaji out of. But the curry itself was a bit weird tasting. I think it was going for some sort of cheese flavor. But yeah, I preferred the footprint curry if I'm being honest. And with that, the gang's <laughs> all here. <laughs> That is a huge amount of rice. Like, like, ginormous amount of rice. And if you want a giant sharer, Mothra is the way to go. So I have just witnessed, participated, and helped analyze Godzilla, as well as surviving. That, that's the most important part at Nijigenomori Park here. It has been loads of fun. We've spent like the whole day just around this area. Oh, let's watch this guy get eaten again. <laughs> Goes without saying, if you're a Godzilla fan, this is a must. I mean, where else do you get to get eaten by Godzilla? In Japan, of course. And not only are you able to be eaten by Godzilla, you can also check out the museum and they've got like food as well that you can order. So it's all around a great time. And if all you thought they had to offer was Godzilla, They've got Naruto, Hello Kitty, Dragon Quest. And if you're interested in seeing that stuff, I came here with both Emerichu and Didus. Emerichu will have a video up on Hello Kitty and Didus will have a video on Naruto. So if you want to see what else this place has to offer, I'll put links to their videos in the description down below. Oh, and I just want to say a big thank you to the people at Persona, the, the owners of this park, for inviting me down to check out Godzilla. This has been loads of fun. Me and Whitney have spent the whole day here and enjoyed ourselves. I just want to say a big thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So if you 
you have enjoyed this video just as much as me, leave a like and until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye bye As a thank you for making it all the way to the end of the video, enjoy this bonus footage, and I'll see you guys in the next one.